Italian is the sound of an indicator. Good morning, welcome to Costa. What can I get for you? Hi, can I please get a regular skinny latte? Medium skinny latte, yeah. Yeah, can I also get a Wiltshire ham and cheese toasty, please? What can I also get for you? Yeah, can I also get a chocolate twist as well, please? And a chocolate twist. Sure thing. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. All right, that's the window when you Thank have you. it. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Asha, also known as Asha Mary Lou over on Instagram. First up, I just wanna say I'm really, really sorry that I haven't uploaded on here for a couple of weeks. I think the last time I uploaded was my York vlog uh, when me and James went to York, which I think was like three weeks ago now, like three weekends ago. Um, and the reason for that is because I had a really busy week, so I hadn't planned to vlog on the first weekend that we were back anyway and then bumper had to have an emergency operation which some of you might know if you follow me on instagram so yeah i've just had some time out looking after him um i've been a little bit quiet on social media um but i'm back and today i'm going to be giving you a six month rhinoplasty update so i have just been to costa and i have grabbed a ham and cheese toasty they didn't have the wiltshire ham and cheese toasties which is the one with the cheese on top as well which is really annoying because um they are life um i also picked up a chocolate twist which is like a pastry thing so i'm absolutely starving and i've got my trusty skinny latte the reason why i'm filming this in my car and not at home is because cut a long story short my brother and james started building a shed in the garden um we say it's a shed but it actually looks like a log cabin it is absolutely huge and today they're putting the roof on it so it's a little bit noisy at home today so rhinoplasty six month sixth six month six month update so i'm technically now nearly seven months but that doesn't sound as good does it like half a year for those of you who are here and who obviously do know then i had a rhinoplasty on the 29th of february which was back at the start of the year if you don't know then i presume you haven't watched my part one and part two of my rhinoplasty vlog so i will link those down below part one is really good because it's like the lead up to it the day before and then how i'm feeling like in the week after the rhinoplasty so it's like my immediate reaction and then part two you get to see me having my cast taken off how it's looking how it's sort of changing day to day and how i'm feeling about it at that moment so this here in part three is just a little update really it's probably not going to be as long as the other vlogs because i haven't obviously got any actual footage to show you other than my new nose i'm gonna put in a load of pictures in this vlog like here maybe just as i'm talking through it talking through the different stages i'm going to show you how i was looking some of them are a bit gruesome so i do apologize if you may be a bit queasy uh like me then maybe Maybe flick through the pictures and stuff so 29th of february 2020 i had an open rhinoplasty it's been a bit of a whirlwind really because about a week after i had my rhinoplasty done the world went a bit crazy and we all went into lockdown coronavirus became a thing it was all just a bit mad wasn't it so i was very lucky to have my surgery when i did because i probably would have ended up getting cancelled and wouldn't have had my surgery by now if i hadn't have had it done back at the end of february but also it's been a bit of a weird time for me because um compared to when i had my breast augmentation for example which was years ago now seven years ago i had constant update appointments with my consultant and a lot of follow-ups a lot of him checking over them and i haven't been able to have that with my consultant because of lockdown and cosmetics aren't deemed as a priority right now which is absolutely fine so the only time my consultant has actually seen my nose is the day that my cast came off which was like the beginning of March and since then the only way we've been able to have appointments is over the phone or over zoom call which is madness like it's just crazy so he hasn't actually physically had a proper look at it since March and now it is the end of September nearly I think if there was any like real problems with it like if I had any pain or it was still ridiculously swollen if it was still bleeding this that and the other i think i would have been able to see him so yeah it was the 29th of february now it's the 20th of september so we're literally nearly seven months post-op uh my consultant was the most amazing guy his name was mr adele fatar and honestly 
choosing him as my surgeon is probably one of the best decisions I've made this year because he just literally understood every single thing that I wanted. He was a proper realist. Like, obviously, when you have appointments with the consultants, they get to know you quite well. And he knew that I obviously did Instagram and stuff like that for a living. So he was very honest in the sense that, you know, I'm probably gonna be prone more than the next person who doesn't do those sorts of things for a living at picking faults with myself. Um, so he was concerned. He said he was actually, he didn't tell me this until after he did the operation, but he did say that he was really nervous on how I was gonna feel about the outcome because he knew that obviously I'm always taking pictures, I'm always filming myself, like I'm probably looking at myself a lot more than the average person, as weird as that sounds. But yeah, he was amazing, he was literally incredible. I couldn't recommend him enough, I'll put his website and everything down below. But yeah, just to show you what my nose is looking like right now, I don't really know if this is like the best lighting. Um, because the light is behind me um but i will do like a better video of it and put it in a clip here like a closer up video so you can see both sides and whatnot let me tell you i am literally over the moon with how it looks i am actually so so happy i don't know the results just turned out perfect and exactly how i wanted my nose to be and i feel like this is the nose that my face was always meant to have not gonna lie i didn't have a bad nose before um a lot of people have commented on my other vlog saying like why are you getting a nose job like your nose is absolutely fine but i think it's in I think in part one where I'm explaining my reasons why I go into depth a little bit more um, I had a fracture in my nose which meant that I couldn't breathe out of my left nostril at all so a lot of what I was fixing was internal but also the appearance I wasn't happy with so from my left side I always take pictures from this side well I certainly did back then um, it was fine but then from my right side I had like a really obvious bump I'll put in pictures here showing what I mean so the outcome couldn't be better for me because to start with my left nostril is completely fixed like it was almost like where I'd fractured it there was like fragments of bone kind of like wedged and every time I like sniffed up my left nostril here would completely close I think there might be a clip of me doing that in the first bit of the vlog the fracture has been fixed so I no longer have a fracture in my nose which I put up with for years and years and years like I had that fracture in my nose for so long and it's just weird being able to feel like a smooth nose now that it's not there and then as for the appearance well you can see for yourself um it is completely even so like straight on it is completely like there's no bumps nothing um can you see so from the left hand side it looks really nice and then also from the right hand side the bump has been completely fixed which i'm just buzzing with obviously i've had a uh, breast augmentation before so as far as surgery goes i kind of expected the ins and outs of it like i knew how one day you can be unhappy one day you can be absolutely over the moon and then it changes again the next day it really is a process like recovering from cosmetic surgery really is a process because before that moment you get put to sleep you have an idea when you head of what the result is going to look like of course you do and sometimes if it doesn't look like that immediately or ever it's really disheartening because it is an expensive thing to do rhinoplasty has the highest revision surgery rates like the revision surgery rates are like sky high for a rhinoplasty whereas like boobs and everything else like that is really really minimal and by revision surgery what i mean by that is if you say three months post-op completely aren't happy with the way something looks you go back to have it done again on the consultant and you have what's called revision surgery so rhinoplasty is literally like three out of five cases people have revision surgery so it is something that people often aren't happy with the result the first time round which sounds crazy because obviously you're having such a major surgery like a rhinoplasty compared to a breast augmentation is major surgery obviously it's on your face and it's also like skeletal as well like it's to do with the bone as mad as that sounds because like people will go back and have it done again like straight away if they're not happy with it i can also totally understand why they would do that like having had it done now myself i can totally understand why the revision surgery rates for a rhinoplasty are so high so yeah if you are literally post-op right now brace yourself because it is gonna get worse before it gets better but you will be happy with it in the end like if everything has gone to plan and your consultant has listened to everything that you want as minded with me 
ignore the swelling ignore the bruises ignore your skin ignore absolutely everything that doesn't look great on your face post up it will be okay and you're going to love your nose trust me it is honestly a process and it's a lot to think about before you have cosmetic surgery done especially around oplasty because there is no avoiding it unfortunately it is right there every time you look in a mirror so i think in my second rhinoplasty vlog i hadn't long had the cast taken off and i think you maybe saw me one or two days post cast off day which is where i ended the vlog so i just want to talk a little bit about what happened after that point i absolutely loved my nose that minute like when the nurse took my cast off and i was looking in the mirror and looking in my front camera and i was literally crying i couldn't believe that that was my nose because it just looked perfect like it looked absolutely perfect and thankfully for me mr fatal like i said he was really real and honest he did say to me you're gonna get your cast off and you're gonna love your nose but then five days later you're gonna absolutely hate it and you're gonna wonder what happened to the nose that was under the cast because your nose isn't gonna look like that for those few days and boy was he right so like three days post cast off i think i just ended the last vlog my nose ballooned it literally swelled like massive all the way out here like it was so big like my bridge was so fat and the tip of my nose was like yellow and bruised and it was just massive but he basically said that when your cast is on and obviously it's keeping the pressure down and the minute it comes off it's fine and then once the blood starts circulating to it in like the few days afterwards and the air gets to it and all this that and the other it completely balloons again which is exactly what did happen so it literally is up and down and it changes every single day i cannot stress that enough so yeah i definitely brace yourselves after cast off day now when it comes to the swelling um you definitely need to take the tablets that you get sent home with make sure you take all of those the cream really really helps i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head it's like a medical cream also arnica you need to take arnica tablets even if you take them for like two weeks in the run-up to your procedure so they're just like a natural thing you can get them in Holland and Barrett boot they're just like tiny little pills they're like smaller than an antihistamine and I would just place mine under my tongue and let them dissolve and I took them for like 10 days before surgery and then I took them religiously after surgery and even now if I feel like my nose is looking a little bit puffy for whatever reason I will just take a couple of Arnica tablets and let them dissolve of an evening or in the morning and they seriously help so I would honestly say even though like you stop feeling like a piece of shit by the time you get to your cast off day that's where the real physical recovery starts like the actual how it looks aspect so yeah it's definitely a process from that moment forward with regards to how it looks but i am so happy with how my rhinoplasty turned out i don't feel like i will ever need to have revision surgery unless something drastically changes it or if i fracture it again which fingers crossed i don't do that because i'm not going to be as silly as i was so now that little update is out of the way um i'm going to i got you guys to ask me some questions the other day on my stories because i told you i was doing this part three and wanted to include like a q a section in it honestly there is so many questions so i'm just gonna pick out like a few so someone has asked how long did it take to heal like when were you able to go out in public again so obviously like i just said it takes 12 months to fully heal so be very very patient with your body if you want to go out in public with your cast on your face then do it but if not pretty much as soon as your cast comes off so 10 days 10 to 14 days i think they generally come off is your nose still a bit swollen and does it swell up every morning so i'm presuming your post-op to be asking that it is actually still a bit swollen yes yeah? so even though i'm 100 percent happy with it generally the swelling probably will go down a little bit more over the next six months and yes it does swell every morning i think in the morning your body can be quite swollen anyway like obviously you've been stayed put for a while love that you're sharing your experience you're so brave oh that's so sweet thank you oh here we go here's an interesting one my nose is 20 months post-op and it's only just going down now it honestly takes so long to heal i totally get it like i totally understand so if this girl is saying that she's 20 months post-op and her swelling is still like only just completely going down that just goes to show how long it takes to heal and why you should be so patient with it who was your surgeon like i said at the start of the video um, my surgeon was mr adele fatar absolutely incredible what was the pain level i've always wanted to get my nose sorted because i've broken it previously mine was broken too hun totally get that um so the pain level i would say 
I have quite a high pain threshold. I, I get tattooed quite a lot. I've had surgery before. I've had filler and Botox and all of the above. So I'd like to think I have quite a high pain threshold, maybe mid range. Um, the thing is with cosmetic surgeries, it's never like pain because you're like quite drugged up afterwards. It's more of a discomfort. But I would definitely say that I would get a boob job any day of the week than have my nose done again. So I'm gonna say like an eight out of 10 for pain, eight and a half out of 10 for pain. So somebody has said, has your skin changed at all? Are you noticing you've been more dry or oily since? And also just below that, somebody has asked, is there anything you wish you knew before the op? Now, the reason why I'm gonna answer these two together, um, somebody's just pulled up next to me and I look like a mad woman. Um, but the reason why I'm gonna answer these two together is because the thing that I wish I knew before the op is to do with my skin so i am very lucky with my skin i have quite clear skin always have had um i get like the odd massive spot but generally i have quite good skin i don't have big open pores and i certainly never used to suffer with blackheads however let me just tell you i was shook literally shook when the cast came off and when I got home and had like a good look at my nose at how bad my skin was. I have never seen pores like that on my face or blackheads like that on my face. Now obviously my skin hadn't been able to breathe for 10 days but the thing is is that it is so sensitive like I couldn't even get at the blackheads, I couldn't exfoliate like literally couldn't do anything to my skin because my nose was still so sore and so sensitive at that point i can actually like touch my nose now everything is fine so if i see a blackhead i get to it like immediately and i use one of those masks you know like the black pulley off mask which really really helps so get some of that if you can so yeah i was literally so taken back by that because i just didn't expect it to affect my skin in that way what exactly did you convey that you wanted your aesthetic outcome to be and how accurate was it so i'm pretty much guessing that you're asking what i asked for from my surgeon so for me i wanted the fracture fixing i wanted the bump to be gone and i also wanted the tip to stay as it was but maybe be lifted ever so slightly oh and also i wanted my bridge to be narrowed so you know that bit that goes down from there like the bit that we generally contour to hell i wanted that to be really really narrow so that was my criteria and he got it all spot on did you ever consider going abroad for your rhinoplasty no i didn't i am not one of these people who could ever go abroad to have any sort of procedure done i got my boobs done in the uk i got my composite veneers done in the uk and i got my rhinoplasty done in the uk and honestly i just never ever ever would did you have an open or a closed rhinoplasty so i had an open rhinoplasty the difference is a closed rhinoplasty they can go up through your nostrils do everything that they need to do through your nostrils so that's closed whereas an open rhinoplasty is where they cut it here cut it here pull it back and then get to everything they want to get to with your skin peel back so i actually had an open rhinoplasty so that's what i had done how long did it take for your upper lip to look and feel normal now my upper lip basically your upper lip does get affected like with bruising and a little bit of swelling because obviously they're going at that bone essentially there between your lip and your nose mine was fine literally after 24 hours like the swelling and the bruising i did have a bit of numbness for like I think it was numb for like four days i literally couldn't feel it but after that it was absolutely fine and now it's fine the only thing with my lip and this is so weird like it still creeps me out a little bit is that you know when you put lipstick on or lip balm and you go like you rub your lips together i have now got less skin between my lip and my nose like that bit there is now shorter because he's taken some of the skin away so i've always had like a little lip lift in a way but when I do that, I can't fully tuck my lip under like I used to be able to. Like, it's so weird. I'm going to finish with this one because I think it's quite a good question. What would you say your top three tips are when it comes to having a rhinoplasty done? I've got mine booked for the end of the year and I'm really nervous. So yeah, definitely do your research. 
arnica and a good skincare for when you are recovering and also just mentally prepare yourself for the recovery process so keep telling yourself before the procedure like it's going to be a process but eventually the end result you are going to be happy with as long as you do those things i think you're pretty much good to go but honestly like absolutely no regrets like i am just in love with my nose i'm obsessed with the way it looks and and yeah I hope this has been helpful um so obviously this isn't as in-depth as my other vlogs so definitely go and watch those so part one and part two is available on my channel i'll link them down below especially if you're going through the procedure right now you'll want to go and watch those because you get my initial thoughts after surgery but this was just like a six month keeping it real update and just to let you all know that I am so happy with the outcome and you're going to be too. Like as much as you might be hating it today and it's swollen and it's red and it's bruised, you are going to love it. So don't be worried. I hope this has been helpful and it's nice to be back on YouTube because I missed you guys. I always forget to say this, but please subscribe whilst you're here. I really want to get to 10K and I think I'm just under 8K now. So that would massively help me out. Please give this a thumbs up as well if you have enjoyed it. If there's anything I haven't covered, if you've got something you want to ask me, you are more than welcome to ask in the comments section down below or if you want it to be more private you can send me a message on instagram as well and i'll respond to you on there as always i will put a link to my instagram down below but otherwise i will see you all in my next video bye